Kakunk. go. Our note for today, computational procedures or algorithms, specifically linear equations and slopes. Uh, notice there with the linear, we'll just be talking about lines today, just straight lines. Our do, find the slopes of perpendicular lines. What we'll also be dealing with is also parallel lines. Okay, so we'll sneak this in right here. Okay, that's what we'll be talking about today. So first, we'll talk about parallel lines. Well, the big thing about parallel lines is this. They have the same slope if they are parallel. Okay, so let's say the slope of this bottom one, uh, we'll call the slope 2. Then the slope of the top one, if they're parallel, had better be 2. Okay, let's say for a minute that the slope of this one is 2.5 then these would not be parallel, okay? These have to be, uh, they have to have the same slope. Just so you know too, this is the sign that means parallel, okay? It's not, uh, I wasn't trying to make a smiley face or anything. All right, so that's parallel lines. And what you need to do is, when you're looking at the equations for these slopes, remember, this is where you look right there for M. That is going to be where your slope is. So you look right here. So on these, the 2 would have been right here. Okay? The 2 would have been right there. So that's parallel. Perpendicular lines are different. They obviously do not have the same slope. Okay? You can see these two lines. First of all, this slope would probably be positive, and this one looks like it's negative. So obviously these won't be the same. Okay? And there's a specific way that they have to be different. They can't just be different. They have to be different in a specific way. And that is they have to be opposite reciprocal slopes. All right? Let's look at those words one at a time. Opposite. That means if one of them is positive, the other one had better be negative. All right? And second, reciprocal just means you take the fraction and flip it. Okay? Reciprocal, one half, you've got to flip it. All right? But then you have to do the opposite. So since this was a positive one half, this needs to be a negative two over one. Okay? So I'm going to erase this real quick. The bell's ringing in the background. And let's do an example. So if we have these perpendicular lines with the opposite reciprocal slopes, if we had a slope of, say, one over two, you'd need to not only flip that, but also change the sign. And you could just call that negative 2. Okay? So we'll do a couple more examples here. Um, let's say here, somebody in my class, shout out a slope. 5 over, no, five over 3. 5 over 3? Cool. So if we have 5 over 3, the opposite reciprocal, that would be? 3 over 5. Negative, negative 3 over 5. Good job, class. All right, now be quiet. <laughs> Please. All right. So a couple little examples here. If we have, you guys don't see the answer. If we have this equation, this slope formula, which of these four choices is parallel to that? All right. Now remember, you got to look at the slope. And then we're talking parallel, so it needs to have the same slope. So the correct answer is... It's not B because that slope is 4. D as in dog? Yes. Aha, but we're doing parallel. What would D be? Uh, you might be giving away my next answer, you darn it. So the answer here was C because we're doing parallel. Okay. Now, another one is what you guys were thinking. Perpendicular. Okay. Which of these four choices is perpendicular to 3 over 2? D. Now it's D. Because you flipped it and we flipped the sign. 
All right, now the real problems. The equations y equals negative 10x plus 6, and this one, describe lines that are perpendicular. The lines are perpendicular because the equations have which of these four? So go through and pick which of those four is the correct answer. All right, now I'm going to give you, I'll go through these. Same coefficients of y, well, that's true. They both have a 1 right there, but that's not why they are perpendicular. Okay, y-intercepts with opposite signs. Well, again, that's true, a plus 6 and a minus 6, but that's not why they're perpendicular. <laughs> Slopes that are negative reciprocals. Yeah, and I use the word opposite right here, but you could say negative reciprocals also. All right, that is your correct answer. Let's just make sure. The same number of terms to the right side. Well, that's true. They have one, two on each. Okay, but again, that's not why. All right, so the correct answer is C. Next question. Here are two more equations. One, two. And these equations describe lines that are parallel. Okay, now we just need to say why they're parallel. The lines are parallel because the, and then these choices will look similar to the last one, so go ahead and pick your answer now. Okay, I'm going to go over it. The y-intercepts have opposite signs. True story, but that's not why. Slopes of the equations are equivalent. Is that thing equal to 1 over 8? Well, you could, we could do some math, and you would find out, yes, these do have the same slopes, okay? And that is your right answer, all right? So B is the right answer. My class is being bothersome in the background. No, you'll be, you'll be okay. All right, so there it was. This, again, was a Mr. S. Production. A seminar. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. All right. Have a good day.